Yesterday in Leeds, Theresa May said that there are 27 EU countries lined up to oppose us. Now this is obviously ridiculous that she should use this kind of language to paint us against 27 other nations in our neighbourhood. This is aggressive, this is adversarial, this is warlike. It's like the UK doesn't understand what teamwork is. If those 27 other countries were opposed to us, it would be entirely reasonable. Let's have a little recap of what's happened. We've been part of the team. At the same time that we had a migrant crisis on and a Eurozone crisis on, we didn't pitch in and help out, but rather we said, we want a special deal just for us, an even more special deal just for us, and if you don't give it, then we are going to leave. Then we said we're going to leave anyway, because we think you're all a dictator on rules, even though we were involved in making them. We don't like your citizens in our country. And generally speaking, we think that we're better than you. So we're leaving anyway. And now give us an extra special deal with all of the benefits, but none of the responsibilities. And if you don't, we're going to become a tax haven to undercut you all. Now, you can imagine why that would encourage these two dozen other countries to solidify and say no and oppose that. Um, I said in my previous video that Theresa May's narrative that she needs a strong mandate in order to be able to go to Brussels and get a better deal is false because Brussels actually don't care who they're dealing with, whether it's a parliament of Tory clones or whether it's Santa and his elves, doesn't matter. They'll have a look at what's in their economic interest to preserve trade relations, but not undercut the union. I'm now thinking differently though, because if we send Theresa May in with a mandate using hostile language like she is, then we are going to uniquely isolate the UK within Europe. Imagine yourself as the EU and coming to you, you either have um, Theresa May using tabloid-like language backed up with um, a whole parliament who thinks like her representing a country which is all hostile to you, or a country in which you've got a diverse parliament with lots of MPs in there that actually value strong UK-EU relations and actually have been supporting you all the way. Which one do you think you would do a more friendly deal with? I would say that we are in a much weaker position with May having a strong mandate, going in aggressively, and that risks isolating us and ensuring that we get a worse deal.